Next up, we're going to hear from uh, Associate Professor Chris Reed, who's head of the Neurophysiology of Excitable Networks Laboratory. Professor Reed, along with neurologist Professor Graham Jackson, are the epilepsy theme head. So uh, over to you, Chris. First thing really to say is the epilepsy theme is much more than just epilepsy. Uh, we also investigate uh, cellular network mechanisms underlying sleep and, and memory as well. Although clearly epilepsy is a, is a key to the theme. Next slide, please. So um, the, the theme's broadly split into two subgroups. Uh, we have the imaging subgroup, which is the MRI PET scanning uh, techniques, and then a more physiology. Um, so the slides will be split in, in, in that way. Um, I guess the first thing to say about the epilepsy theme is what sets us apart is probably our high-end toys. Um, we've got some amazing imaging technologies uh, in both the physiology and in the imaging uh, field. Um, so let's start with imaging. Um, the dedicated MRI is available to complete both clinical and method development science. Uh, one of the key strengths of the imaging aspect of the theme is the ability to take uh, biological questions at various scales, uh, from the whole brain all the way through to single image cell imaging. Uh, in the imaging uh, theme, students can work on problems as diverse as instrument development to novel analysis uh, throughout, right way through to specific clinical questions. So the next slide, please. The in the physiology arm uh, of the theme, we also have access to some really quite cool, sophisticated experimental techniques. Uh, right from putting tiny little pieces of glass tubes on single neurons um, that allow us to record their electrical activity, all the way through to state-of-the-art uh, fluorescent imaging techniques um, that allow us to record from freely moving animals uh, doing quite subtle behavior. Um, one of the big fact, uh, positives of the, team, of the theme is, uh, is the development of novel models. Um, so one of the big strengths is the development of mouse models that are based on human mutations, in particular in the epilepsy field, and, and Steve's alluded to some of that earlier. Um, what this does is enable us to understand brain mechanisms in disease and health, right from the genetic aspects all the way through the cellular neuronal network level. Um, and we take advantage of these uh, to define our priorities, which are set out in the next slide, please. Next slide, Jackie, thank you. Um, so this slide just highlights uh, the, the imaging uh, priorities um, were, that um, really are focused around PET imaging and MRI. Um, things such as locating epileptic zones in, in pre-surgical and planning for, for people with epilepsy. Precision medicines, so defining um, exactly what's happening uh, in an epileptic brain and allowing that um, information to determine what the best treatment practices should be and also uh, understanding the underlying basic mechanisms of, of epilepsy, which brain regions are important, um, and how can we modulate those uh, in a way that makes sense uh, to treat the, what is quite a devastating disease. Next slide, please. Um, from a physiological perspective, um, I think Steve's already uh, eloquently um, outlined what we do in the context of genetic epilepsies. Um, the idea is to use our genetic models in particular to understand pathomechanisms uh, and also because we have a very distinct starting point the concept of precision medicines has really come to the fore um, and as David mentioned of Steve he's already developed a couple of uh, companies around these concepts uh, that hope to put um, you know therapeutics into patients uh, in the next three to, to five years. Um, as said in the beginning, it's not all about um, epilepsy. We also do other things. These include things uh, looking at sleep and cognitive, uh, cognitive analysis, um, the in vivo analysis of neural networks in behavior. That's a particularly high-end uh, work done by Lucy Palmer, uh, using two-photon micro, uh, microscopy to, to, to look at network behaviors uh, during um, you know, the things such as uh, learning and memory, uh, for example. And we also have some work uh, looking uh, with Ben Gu, looking at phagocytosis in health and disease. Next slide, please. So um, these are a couple of examples. Um, you know, the, the details of these, um, you, you'd need to talk to the individual supervisors about, but I think it gives you a fairly clear indication of the types of, of experimental uh, techniques that you can use and the types of um, questions that you could ask and, and answer in, in, uh, in the potentially in an honours year or, or even going on to doing a PhD. 
Um, things such as functional neuroimaging to identify abnormalities in the brain, so a very clinical thing that's run primarily by David. Uh, more basic science, like looking at the structure and function connectivity within the brain, um, Dr. Muto and, and Professor Jackson. Um, neuropsychology uh, and imaging in the context of epilepsy, but just generally about neuropsychology in general. So you get insight using epilepsy to understand uh, some of these concepts. And, and then all the way through to advancing um, the actual techniques themselves, uh, looking at MRI acquisition protocols, uh, processing, uh, and even some of the instrumentation around this. Next slide, please. Um, from a physiological perspective, um, I've already alluded to this, the neural, uh, neural basis of learning um, and, and memory. Uh, Associate Professor Lucy Palmer has some fantastic um, you know, projects around using two photon uh, live behaving animals to, to look at how neuronal networks uh, behave when the animal learns. Um, we've also looked at, we've got things like modeling um, uh, severe epilepsies using stem cell technologies. Uh, this has grown uh, particularly in the last couple of years as a, as a particularly powerful technique uh, to, to not only understand how epilepsy works, but also to use uh, as a preclinical tool to uh, see whether the, the, you know, the more precision-based um, therapies that we're developing uh, work in, in a human context. My work has focused around a lot um, around a pacemaker channel. Um, this has got some quite significant traction uh, more recently um, with uh, venture capitalists coming on board uh, with the idea of designing drugs uh, that are novel and, and hopefully better uh, to treat um, epilepsy. And then uh, finally, um, Laura's got some work around sleep and dementia. Um, the interaction between these two is, is intriguing and uh, she's got some lovely projects uh, that could be, you know, that are focused on those general ideas. So I think that was all I had to say. Um, I said, the, generally speaking, the epilepsy theme um, has a very broad, not, not, not unlike all the other things, very broad uh, number of experimental methods and, and questions that can be answered. Uh, and the best thing you can do is in, sort of contact your individual supervisors to get a better feel for what, um, what these projects entail. So thank you.